So in this video I'm going to show you all the different Chucky Carpus palms starting with this one which is a come on palm which is like a taquil palm so it's larger than a fortune out which is a standard one so when it grows bigger this is still a juvenile it'll have much bigger leaves and it should be hardier as well so the first palm is a come on palm now the second palm is this tiny little fella this is a nanus, Trachycarpus nanus, which forms a trunk mainly underground. Should be pretty hardy, it's pretty rare, it's a native habitat. It's pretty hard to get these in cultivation as well. So that's a nanus. The third palm is a little bit off colour, which is this Latisectus palm. Not particularly hardy, probably minus seven, minus eight. And at this size, probably minus five, minus six, so hoping for a mild winter. Now the fourth palm is a standard Trachycarpus fortunae. It's got quite stiff leaves. That's a standard form. Now the next one. It's quite a rare one. This is Gemisectus. This is thicker, leathery, leathery leaves. The whitish, well, slightly white is Glaucus underneath. Very thick leaves, but again, this is still a juvenile palm. So it might change as it grows up. The next palm is Chachycarpus princeps. This is a true form. By that I mean it's got the whitish leaves on the other side. Very white. And this one, believe it or not, is about seven years old. It actually had a first head here. And that died back because it got canker to the bottom of the palm. And a second trunk sprouted on the side. And it's just recovering very slow to do so but it's got some decent roots on that so hopefully that'll survive it's pretty hardy at least I'll say minus 10 it survived as a small palm outside for a few years in the various places in the garden the next palm again needs a bit of feeding is a nanny tail which is what was sold as Takil several years ago this should be a hardy palm, very hardy in fact. So it should grow bigger than Fortunae. The next palm, which has got a lot of creep, which is this forming at one place and then creeping along the ground. This is actually Maniper or Eucanthus. This should be a pretty hardy palm. Should be showing some Glaucus, yeah, there we are on the underside of the new sleeves. And this palm I've had since it was very small, so that's about seven or eight years old. Now the next palm is a Chachycarpus princeps hybrid, where the parents are princeps and either Nova or Fortunae. A bluish underside of the leaves. It's a very fast grower. Should be hardy-ish, but several others in the garden have spear pulled in a very mild winter, so we'll see how that goes on. Now the next palm is a hard palm to get hold of. And this is a true Trachycarpus tequil. Not many sources of this true palm, it's about like, two or three years old. From seed, it's probably a bit stretched. I don't know what its true form will be when it grows up, but hopefully, it should be bigger than a 49. I'll have to wait and see for that one. It should be very hardy as well. The next palm, which looks very much like Lattice Sexus to me, needs a bit of feeding, is Machinus. 
Nepal farm this one. That is pretty tender, minus three probably, so we'll have to protect that in winter if we want it to survive. And the next one is Trachycarpus 429, but this is a waggy, as a wagonarius. Very stiff leaves, smaller and deeper greener colour on the leaves as well. The next one planted in a more sheltered, shady part of the garden is Checkycarpus nova, which used to be called Princeps green. Got some glaucus in the side of the leaves. It's quite a strong growing palm. Been reasonably hardy so far, but we'll see how that goes on. And the final species is Checkycarpus orifilus. Beautiful leaves on this, very fine, lots of segments. Lots of leaflets on the leaves, pretty stiff leaves as well. Which is a very nice perm, but probably not too hard, probably minus five ish. So, if this is to survive, to survive winter here, it must be very mild. Need a lot of luck, and I will need to protect it. So that's all the Jackie Carpus palms. So all the palms being planted out at the same time. All completely south facing in nice fresh topsoil with a bit of added manure. I know they're pretty close to the fence, they're about 10 to 12 inches away from the fence. So it will distort the leaves on that side, but the trunks will be fine. And then once they grow over six foot, if they survive, they'll be able to branch out. And a brilliant and nice line of all different species. And if we get any more species, if any more discovered, I'll just add them on further down the garden. So there we are, let's see how they get on.